Hello everybody, I'm Mitch. I'm a drummer, a musician and a casual gamer from Sydney, Australia. I don't normally do these videos, but um, something pretty cool has happened that I want to tell you all about. One of my favourite games, pretty much the only game I ever really play, is Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous is an amazing game that really helps me just unwind because um, last year I bought an Oculus Rift and uh, that has been just so much fun to just put that on and just go to a different place for you know a little while and feel like I've gone somewhere else and come back. But um, as anybody who's played Elite Dangerous knows, one of the most important things to have when you're playing that game is an amazing POTAS setup. So I have a um, Cytec 52X which has been really, really cool. I mean, for what it cost, etc. it's just been an amazing little rig. But one of the things that I've always really, really, really wanted to have was a setup where I could be sitting in, in a chair um, and be playing with the cockpit around me and it feel exactly like what I see in the game. So earlier this year, I realized that I was in desperate need of a new chair. So I picked up a Noble Chairs icon and um, came home and started looking up some um, solutions as to how I was going to get this HOTAS set up attached to my chair. So Monster Tech are a small company out of Germany who have recently begun creating attachments and setups for things like um, racing sims, flight sims, but also uh, HOTAS attachments for chairs and tables. So when I first came across them a couple of months ago, they only had stock and attachments for chairs such as DX Racers, um, Secret Labs and Maxnomic. And so I jumped on their forum as they suggested that you should and I suggest that you should too if you have a different chair um, and started chatting to them about the fact that I have this icon by Noble Chairs. So I'm very excited, it's a Sunday here in Sydney and I had a package arrive, strangely, on a Sunday um, and Olsen so generously has um, sent me an entire HOTAS setup um, obviously by Monster Tech, which I am, as I said, so excited to share with you and show you how it's uh, looking and how it went together. And I've only done one side of it, so the plan is that I'll now construct the other side um, while, I, uh, while I'm on camera so you can have a look at it too. Okay, so this is the side of my Noble Chairs Icon chair that obviously doesn't have the HOTAS um, attachment on it just yet. But um, first, I'd like to point out that you might be able to see that the armrests are actually reversed. Um, a user on uh, the Monster Foundry forums, which is um, what Olsen has set up to discuss the Monster Tech stuff um, on, he pointed out that the arms on the chairs are actually completely reversible. The reason this is important, you'll see in a moment when I try to show you how the attachment goes on. But more importantly, I actually was really happy about that because my only complaint with the chair beforehand was that I couldn't get quite close enough to my desk um, when working. So reversing it really helped that. This is the bracket off the other side. Now this bracket here fits beautifully under there like that. And so basically what you do is you pull apart this part of the chair from here, there's two Allen key locked bolts there that you pull out and this whole part slides up. And then you end up replacing this piece with the Monster Tech one. So this part of the chair actually ends up exactly where it was, but now you have this new platform. So I'm gonna spin the chair so you can have a bit of a look now at what it looks like in all its glory. All right, so as you can see on this side of the chair, uh, we now have this uh, new metal um, bracket that's now sitting in the place of the old one with this piece from the old, the, the original one, the old uh, original armrest still attached to it. But now there's this new platform that's sitting out from in front of it. I'll try it underneath here so you can have a look. So that's what it looks like. And the new platform allows for this arm to stick up off it there and stick out. And depending on which HOTAS setup you have, Monster Tech will send you um, the correct one for your rig. So this is for the, um, the X52 that I mentioned earlier. There it is there. The one that the uh, Elite Dangerous designers used to model off for the game itself, which I think is pretty cool. 
But as I was saying, you can see that the armrest needed to be reversed so that I could get this in place. However, because if, uh, if I had have left that, it would have been cutting straight across it. But once again, I'm more than happy with that. That's, that's not even a compromise. In fact, I kind of feel that that's an upgrade. So this is all the parts that Monster Tech sends you for one side of your HOTAS setup for your chair. On the right, this is obviously the bulk of the mount. And this is a plastic cover that jumps on the end there for when you're finished. Over here is the new mounting plate to replace the original one on your chair. There's mine from the other side of the chair. You also have the platform on which your HOTAS rig is going to sit on, depending on which one you have. Um, this is for the uh, X52, obviously. And finally, you have the two different screw bags um, to get that onto your chair. All you need for installation is a set of Allen keys and standard Phillips head screwdriver. So now I'm going to pull apart this right arm and I'm going to do it on camera so you can all see how it comes apart and how it goes back together again and hopefully in just a few minutes see the finished product. All right, so let's do this. Okay, so I've removed the original plate from my chair, replaced with the Monster Tech one, onto installing the armrest. Install the pillar for the rest of the mount. Alright, so the pillar's on, so we're on to the height adjustment next. Okay, so the next part's pretty cool. Uh, this part here, this uh, the, the T, I guess you would call it, is completely adjustable, so it can go up or down depending on how high you want your um, HOTAS controllers to sit. So as you can see on the other side of mine, we've got, I've got it actually all the way up the top, which I found was just perfect for where I wanted it. So I'm gonna do exactly the same with this side. Okay, so now that the angle is adjusted, in the little bag, we have the parts for the um, HOTAS platform. Comes these little uh, notches things. I don't know what you'd call them. They've got a screw thread in them and they just slide directly into um, this point in here. Something like this, just like that. And you push it along until it clicks into a notch. And once that notch is in place, do the same with the other one, and then the platform sits on top of that, screws in place, and the whole thing holds together. It's pretty ingenious. Okay, the platform is in place. It's almost ready for me to put the throttle onto. I'm just going to put on this cover underneath here, just to finish it off uh, before I do. Alright, now we're ready for the last part, the best bit obviously, installing the throttle controller in its place. So Monster Tech have so kindly provided two of these long screws that drop down into here. And when you find the point, just go straight through like that. And you may have noticed on the plate itself, it has this curvy section over here. And this is so that if you would like to put your setup 
on an angle, you can actually manipulate it to where you would like it, which I think is just so cool. But for now, let's just leave it on straight. Um, we've got some bolts to add to the other side, which you can drop with a Phillips head screwdriver, but I'm just gonna do them finger tight. All right, and there we have it. One installed throttle to go with my joystick. So on my Noble Chairs icon here, it just so happened that there's this little uh, notch here that I noticed when I was running the cable underneath, to which I've taken advantage of and just put a small cable tie there and one on the other side, just to keep that cable from, from dangling down, just hold it up there. And that's obviously gonna continue around and up to the, uh, the HOTAS rig. But finally, um, when I need to take the, the, uh, the joysticks off, my plan is just to grab this and just wrap it a few uh, times around here. So that should be pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. There's the chair ready to go. So without further ado, let's do this. Oh man. That, that is... That is incredible. That's exactly how it should be. That I can, I've got full uh, motion, full movement of both joysticks. Actually, you know what? Ah, oh, that's that's the trick. Uh, obviously, this chair you can spin the the uh, the armrests left and right, but um, that is how it should be when you play this game. I can already tell you that that is. Yeah, yeah, that's the way. I can still get to all the buttons. Obviously when you've got an Oculus on, you kind of need a feel for them, so they'll be really easy to find. Probably doesn't look particularly flattering the way I'm sitting, but um, I don't care. This is exactly how you're gonna find me a lot of the time from now on, I feel. That is unbelievable. That just feels amazing and it's just, it's so solid, like I'll try and spin it a little bit so you can see that that is just so like that's not going anywhere because it's just it has literally become part of the chair now. So it is it's just so strong. The build quality, as I said earlier, is just fantastic. It's it uh, they could have done a better job if they tried. So Olsen, uh, fantastic job, man. This is this is a game changer for anyone who plays any kind of flight sim slash elite dangerous man I'm this is so cool all right well I'm all set up I've plugged it in as you can see I've got my oculus ready to go so uh, let's um, let's go for a bit of a flight and see how this goes incredible and the oculus just makes it even more immersive but this is unbelievable so I used to have these guys up here on the table and so my hands were sitting quite high all the time and to have them just resting so my shoulders is just chilling down and it's, it's just it feels how it should feel and it's so so similar to where my hands my uh, rip fake hands are in the game. It, it's so close to where they are. It just feels right, and, it, and I can't get over it now. Actually, I used to use the suction caps on the on the desk, but they didn't hold the um, the controllers particularly still. But now that they're absolutely solid, they're so much smoother. Like the throttle is so smooth, and the the joystick is just incredibly smooth. That is a game changer quite literally. 
All right, well, there you have it. Um, that's my review slash construction video of the Monster Tech um, HOTAS chair attachment set that uh, once again Olsen from Monster Tech so kindly sent me to, uh, to try and I am just so happy and I think that anybody who gets something like this is going to be assuming that you love games like Elite Dangerous, Flight Sims, anything like that. Um, I can also categorically tell you that it absolutely does work with the uh, Noble Chairs Icon Chair. Um, assuming that you are happy to reverse your armrests to the back position. I mean, it really only made a difference of about that much, but I was happy to do that anyway. I did that a couple, a few weeks ago, uh, once I knew I could. And um, I know that um, Olsen and Monster Tech are looking to uh, create a few accessories for this coming up soon. Um, I know that they've already released a quick release um, latch for the whole arm itself. Um, so the bracket, the, the plate will stay, but the, the, the pillar and the, everything can come off very quickly or at least turn to the side if you have these quick release tabs. The only other thing I was considering getting, and I think I will now 100%, is a, um, you can get a drink, a cup holder that uh, mounts to the side, to the side bracket of the pillar here. Um, and I think that's going to be super useful in Elite Dangerous when I can lean back grab a drink, place it there and know it's safe. So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, glowing review because uh, it's a glowing review for a fantastic product. So um, obviously check out the links I'll, I'll place beneath this video uh, to uh, Monster Tech and the Monster Foundry. And uh, I'll, I'll try to put as much information as I can in there to help anybody else um, who is considering doing something like this, I highly recommend it. I'm not going to do the whole subscribe, follow, comment thing, but if you would like to, you know how to do so. Alright, um, that's enough from me. I'm going to get back into some Elite Dangerous. Um, thanks heaps, and um, fly safe, Commanders.